zero stop for your cheek piece. That's what we're talking about today. Those that have been watching the channel know that although I am new to Precision Rifle, basically just starting out this summer, know that it's something that I've really, really enjoyed. And one of the lessons that I've learned is consistency helps. If you have that good foundation of consistency, that'll help build accuracy. You can then get faster and go from there. And one of the things that I absolutely love about my two Precision Rifles uh, I have my centerfire rig here and my 22 trainer and 22 precision rig here. They are both in basically sister Grabo Ridgeback stocks. And I really, really do like the uh, Grabo stock. I did a review. I'll put a card up here where you can check out my review. But what I love about it, not only can I have a centerfire and a rimfire version, but there's just a lot of adjustability and they're comfortable and they're just good quality stocks. Now, one of the things I did notice, particularly on the centerfire version, is if I wanted to remove the bolt, whether that be to clean or maybe I wanted to transport it without the bolt in a soft case or anything like that, I'd either have to uh, lower the cheek piece all the way or I would have to obviously remove it. And getting it back to that kind of sweet spot that I had, you know, like right about there, because once you have that sweet spot, you just don't want to mess with it. I kind of wanted a way to, to return to that. What I came up with is to use a little clamp. And before I show you that, let me introduce myself. My name is Dave Tim. Thank you guys very much for spending just a few minutes of your day checking out this video, this quick tip, if you will. And I hope you find it helpful. It works not only on a Grabo stock, but it'll also work on any basically precision rifle stock, or rimfire stock, or rifle stock that has an adjustable cheek piece that uses a rod to basically, you know, set its height, if you will. You just need to know the diameter of the rod. So that's what I did is basically you can take your cheek piece off and we're going to measure the diameter of this rod. Now mine was 5 16 of an inch, but you can you know, use a caliber or a micrometer to measure this, or you could just take this with to the hardware store. And then once you're at the hardware store, you are going to look for this little guy right here. Let me get you a close up of that. Now, some people call this a drill stop because you could put this on a drill bit and it's used for limiting the depth of a drill, but it is basically just a clamp. So you head on over to your local hardware store, go to the hardware section, and then you go to the clamp section where you pick out the appropriate inner diameter to match your cheek piece. And basically what you do is put the clamp on the cheek piece like so. A little snug fit is just fine. Put the cheek piece in the rifle. You can put the screw back on. Set it to the appropriate height that you like. Lower the clamp down to the bottom so it in essence acts as a zero stop. Go ahead and tighten the set screw. And if you want, you could even put a small dab of thread locker on there, something uh, either like a medium or a uh, 222, you know, something like a uh, low strength thread locker. It's not a very big fastener, so you're not gonna need a ton of torque. And once that's set, now when you tighten the screw, it is nice and solid, but when you remove the cheek rest to clean it, service it, remove the bolt, whatever, you can take that off and then as you'll notice that little collar there is acting as a little stop so when you go to put it back on it's the same height then you can go ahead and tighten it back up and that's what i found works really well for me so once i have that nice comfortable spot i have a nice return to zero now on the rimfire rig i don't have to remove the cheek rest to remove the bolt because it's a shorter uh, bolt basically a, a shorter action, a shorter short action. But what I find is that when I do want to clean the bore, I find it's just a little bit easier still to you know just remove that and then I can uh, take the bolt out, put a bore guide in, and then I just have you know I can put a rag or something like that just to catch any potential solvent or driver. So I find that it's just a convenience item. And then again that just goes right in there. Now wait, I know what some of you are saying. 
Uh, some of you are definitely saying, well, that's not very tactical, it's, it's silver. Well, there is a black version available, at least at my hardware stores, it's a split ring clamp, but that would increase the budget for this project, which is all of $2.60. That would increase it all the way up to $8, so I didn't think it was personally worth it. So that's my little quick tip for a zero stop cheek rest. It returns to zero every time, and I can just tighten her back up, just like your scope knobs or whatever else, same spot, goes back there. Easy peasy. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check us out online at gunsandtactics.com to stay up to date on all of our content articles. Also, if you have a question firearms related, you can also send it to the email address shown below. That is the QA at gunsandtactics.com. We answer all of your questions, firearms, training, gear, whatever it is related. And of course, one lucky winner from every episode gets a prize from our sponsor. We do that at the end of every month. That is the QA again. Send the email address to the address shown below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day. We work really hard to make content that we hope you as a shooter would enjoy. Subscribe to our channel, check out our featured videos and playlists, and if you have a question firearms related, go ahead and send an email to the address shown on the screen to be entered into our monthly QA series.